Hi, it's Jim from Colton RV again. We're here today, we're going to talk about your furnace in your motorhome. If it doesn't perform the way it's supposed to, we're going to give you some tips and tricks on what to look for and then at what point you need to bring it to us for service. Okay, on your thermostat, if it doesn't light up at all, the first place you're going to check is your circuit breakers and fuse box. That is located in a multitude of different places. That's something that are very manufacturer specific. This particular unit, the fuse box is located at the foot of the bed. And then you'll follow your legend here of what the different fuses are for. You'll find the furnace fuse and check that, pull that fuse out, check it, see if it's open. If it is, replace it and your thermostat should light up and everything should be fine. Okay, once you've verified your fuse is good, you can set the thermostat to furnace. You give it a second to kick on. We can hear it kick on. It's going to try three times to try and light. So now at this point, your furnace is going to try three times. After that third time, it's going to shut down and say, hey, something's wrong with me. The first step you want to do is make sure you have propane in your tank by checking the gauge on the wall, the gauge on the tank. Make sure the valve on the tank is actually open. You're gonna shut the thermostat back off and allow it to reset while you check those things. So here we are at the monitor panel. You know, push the LPG gauge and see that all four lights are lit up and we have a full tank of propane. Now we'll go outside what you want to do is check your gauge, make sure it shows you have propane, and then you check the service valve right here, open that all the way up, and then you go back inside, start the furnace all over again. Okay, once you come back inside, you set the furnace, let it start over again. You'll hear the blower motor come on and then you'll listen for it to ignite. There will be a noticeable difference. In this particular unit, the furnace is in the rear of the coach and there's usually a return grate that you can find and this return grate will allow you to, you want to sit here to where you can actually hear a difference in the blower and you'll hear the burner come on. It's a very slight difference but you can hear it. Okay, at this point I was able to hear the blower motor come on and then hear a change in the sound because the burner came on. Once you hear that burner come on, your furnace is gonna be working. You'll be able to find a vent, put your hand in front of it, and you should feel warm air. If when you turn the propane back on and it does not light on the first try, it will try three times and fail. If it does, another good thing to try is to turn off the thermostat turn it back on again, which will initiate another three try cycle. And you may want to do that on and off three or four times to get the air and purge the air out of the system. Another trick and tip to try if your furnace isn't lighting is to make sure you're actually getting propane. And the, one of the first steps you can do is come over here to the stove and actually light the stove top and make sure that you're getting gas once the stove lights, you know that you're getting gas and that clears all the air out of the system. Okay, now that you've checked your propane, you've checked your power through the fuses, you've turned on your thermostat, everything should be good to go. If it's not and you're not heating your camper still, you'll need to get it in, get it diagnosed by a professional. There are multiple things that could go wrong, control module, sail switch, high limit switch, lots of issues that it could be that are very easy to diagnose but just need to be diagnosed by a professional. Hopefully these tips and tricks were useful and you'll stay warm this winter and enjoy camping.